Snowbreak has dropped their first major permanent content from release, and it's not bad. It can be unforgiving though, so let's get into how best to approach it. When you start a run, you'll be dropped into a room with three doors. You'll choose a door and find either a safe room, a supply room, a shop room, a combat room, or a boss room. Once you complete the room's objective, you'll choose from another three doors until you reach the end of the maze, where you'll have a guaranteed boss fight. Each room will increase the threat level of the maze, which will make enemies a little bit tougher. Combat rooms, boss rooms, and sometimes supply rooms will give you currency to spend in shop and safe rooms. We'll get into room specifics later, but first, let's take a look at the permanent buffs you can get for this mode. The buff tree is deceptively long, but you only need one level to progress to the next node, so you can reach the end without too much hassle. This means you can pick any node on the tree to focus first. There are buffs for each element and weapon type, as well as mode specific bonuses. The first node I recommend finishing focuses on the rewards you get from combat and boss rooms. Normally, after completing a combat room, you get to choose from two random rewards. There's a good chance that neither of them will be great for your specific team. This node gives you two chances to refresh those buffs and gives you a third option as well. This means you get to see up to nine random rewards before making a choice. On top of that, it drastically increases the chance of legendary rewards appearing, which can massively impact your build. After that, I recommend going to the end of the tree and upgrading the nodes that give you a discount in shop rooms and extra currency to spend in them. Being able to simply buy multiple powerful buffs can get an unlucky run back on track or seal the deal for a strong one. You may also consider upgrading an early node that gives you a free, consumable refresh for the shop room. I like to spend it once I've stocked up on currency so that I can buy even more buffs in the same shop room. You will have the option of visiting the shop room on the second to last floor of every run, so these investments are never wasted. Now let's quickly go over the room types. Combat rooms are the most common. You beat up some baddies and then get a reward and some credits. Supply rooms are also common. You'll get a buff, some currency, or an item. Safe rooms are fairly uncommon. You can spend currency to heal or revive teammates, or remove a tactical interference debuff that can randomly pop up throughout the maze. Boss rooms are similar to combat rooms, but have a better chance of high rarity buffs as rewards and they also drop more credits. Shop rooms are rare, but there will always be run or two per run. You can buy from a random selection of buffs at a cost that matches their rarity, so make sure you have a couple hundred credits before choosing to enter a shop room. That should get you started, but there's another feature of the labyrinth that you almost certainly won't encounter before completing the buff node. Every unit, four star and five star, has two unique buffs that only spawn if they're in on your team. These are all legendary buffs and they do not disappoint in their boost to your power level. Once you have your buff economy online, it's worth exploring what units might work particularly well together with their respective unique buffs. Don't rush me, I've only just finished debugging it.